Hi, I'm Susan Papanicholas from How Does Your Garden Grow in Seattle, Washington. It's the end of August and I'm here today in my own garden with my dog Albert to show you this really fantastic grass that I love to use in my clients' gardens. This is Anamanthali lessoniana, or pheasant's tail grass. It's also sometimes known as Stipa arundinaceae. I love to use this grass in my clients' gardens because of its upright spry shape. It provides almost a punctuation mark in the garden without becoming big or overwhelming. Some grasses that add a lot of movement or drama into the garden can be very, very large and hard to take care of, and this one stays small and is more manageable. It gets to be about three feet high and about two to three feet wide and maintains this upright vase shape most of the year. It's an evergreen plant, which is another reason I really like to use it because it provides this same shape and structure in the garden throughout the winter. It stays pretty olive green during the spring and summer, and then as we move into fall and winter, it gets some really beautiful orange and bronze tints. I have this one from the nursery over here. And you can see how this one is starting to change to get its fall and winter coloration with these streaks of orange mixed in with the green. And it looks fantastic in the late afternoon if the sun hits it, it almost glows in the garden and looks terrific. Sometimes when our winters are a little bit extra cold, this plant can get killed back to the ground. When that happens, you'll notice that instead of being this kind of bronze color, it'll turn tan or buff and the leaves will look dead like these. If your leaves look like this, you're gonna wanna cut that plant to the ground before early spring so that when the new growth comes up, the old dead leaves are out of the way. Then it'll come back all the way and look fantastic for you by the end of the growing season and live on through that winter. The only maintenance it usually needs, other than being cut back if it gets killed by a hard frost, is that as it blooms in the late summer, the flowers as they form seed heads will tend to have the plant fall open and it gets a little dense and heavy looking. After the flowers have set seed, it's really easy to pull them out. You can just reach your hands in and comb your fingers through and pull those flower heads out. And they'll come off easily. You can put those in the yard waste and then your plant will bounce back up into its more lovely open vase shape. This is also really helpful because sometimes when those seed heads are left on, the plant will form a lot of little seedlings around it, so this will help prevent you having to weed those out later. It's a great plant to use in the garden. It has a really beautiful shape, a really beautiful color, it doesn't require very much care from you, and it looks good year-round. I'm Susan Papanicholas from How Does Your Garden Grow, helping you make the most of your garden.